Okay, everyone, this is Teacher Daniel here. Uh, we are beginning a new week, but continuing on Unit 8. Uh, we are talking about work. And this week, we are going to continue to do... We're going to begin this week by continuing to do our practice. Uh, we are going to go to our workbook, so get your workbook, your exercise book, and open it on page 94, page 94. Um, as we saw last week, and we I think we did some practice, uh, lesson C was about lesson C is about um, conjunctions how to work with and or but so you have three conjunctions here and or but uh, and we practiced last week we used and we used or and we used but and we're gonna continue to practice okay and today we are gonna practice with our workbook so open your book on page 94, 94. And as I always said, it's very important for you to pause the video and do and try to do the exercises on your own. Uh, try to do as much as you can and then come back to the video for corrections, okay? Um, don't just fill out the empty spaces in your book. Just could to, just to get your book filled out. That that's not the purpose. The purpose is for you to learn, to grow, to improve your English. So you have to stretch yourself a little bit. Okay, you have to work um, a little bit more uh, hard to to improve your English. Okay. Um, so open your workbook on page 94 and today we are going to start with exercise 1. So you have my screen in front of you but I'm assuming also you have your book. Uh, and your book, look at exercise 1. It says complete the sentences use and, or, or but. Okay. And as we do this exercise, we are going to review a little bit what we saw last week, and then we move on, okay? So, um, let's see here. When you have the conjunction and, okay, uh, I don't think this is uh, difficult for you. I think this is pretty straightforward. I think this is something that you already know in the back of your head, but um, I'm going to, you know go over this to remind you but you know and and functions as a conjunction to join together to add okay so every time you have the idea of joining together uh, or adding putting one and two together then you use and okay look the number one here you have in your book, the sentence number one, you have in your book as an example. It's already filled out for you. But look here. Mateo has two jobs. He works in a restaurant, in an office. So I'm joining these two together. I'm putting these two together. I'm adding. Okay, so I use and. He works in a restaurant and in an office. Okay? So that's how you use and, okay? Now, when you have a choice, when you have it's one or the other, then you use or. So every time you have a choice, an option, it's one or the other, then you use or. Let's go and see number two. We can have lunch at subs or because subs is one option or at Carl's Carl's is the other option okay 
that's when you use or okay clear and we use but when we have the idea of contrast when we have the idea of um, kind of um, opposite ideas okay when you have let's say contradiction okay uh, let's go to number three I think it'll be clear when it, when we use number three could Gu Zhang talk to his mother about his job plans okay it's going one way he didn't talk to his father but he didn't talk to his father is a contrast he talked to his mom now the opposite he didn't talk to his father but he didn't talk to his father okay so that's how we use and or and but okay so I hope this will, was clear and now we are gonna move on and let's continue okay let's do number four after work Lourdes had cake Tanana ice cream um, and I think for me the most the best suitable here is in okay after work Lourdes had cake and ice cream okay now let's go to number five Mandy and Paco went to New York they didn't see the Statue of Liberty here from what we see it seems that they this is one way and this is the other it's a contradiction kind of an opposition so we use but Mandy and Paco went to New York but they didn't see the Statue of Liberty okay number six Ivan works the day shift -na -na -na, the night shift he never works both shifts uh, and because of this last information he never works both shifts you cannot put and here so you have to put Ivan works the day shift or the night shift okay good okay so don't forget to send me your questions if you have any uh, it's very important for you to send me your questions okay uh, don't forget but let's go now to number seven Sally works at the hospital during the week at pizza town on the weekend so it seems to me that she works both places so the idea of this is of addition joining together so Sally works at the hospital during the week and at Pizza Town on the weekend. Okay. And number eight. At work, Ang answers the phones. Tanana takes messages. Number eight. At work, Ang answers the phones. Tanana and takes messages. Okay. So I think this exercise was was pretty straightforward. I hope you had a better um, a, a kind of a refresher in regards to conjunctions. These three conjunctions here and or and but. Um, but let's check our answers here. Good, we got all of them correct. Um, let's go now to exercise number two. Okay same page page 94 in your workbook exercise 2 okay now on exercise 2 what you have to do you have to combine the sentences and use and or or but you know here my exercise because I'm doing it online is a little bit different but it's not 
that different because what you had to do in your book is to write the whole sentence okay you had to write the whole sentence okay and here I already have part of the sentence I just have to complete the missing part so when you see the whole t sentence that's the correct answer for you okay so the answer for your exercise in your book this is it's the whole thing this whole thing here okay but let's 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 do this for example look here exercise number one you have that as an example in your book look sometimes June eats lunch at noon sometimes June eats lunch at one o'clock so you have to join these two uh, so here you use the conjunction or right and now you write the whole thing June eats lunch at noon or at one o'clock so this is the, the the answer okay look at your book this is the answer so when you see the screen you have to see that this whole thing including the box it's the answer it's the correction okay okay look so let's go to number two Javier helps the nurses he also helps the doctors so what's the idea here very good the idea is an idea of joining together right so our answer is Javier helps the nurses and the doctors okay that's our answer here let's go to number three tin or tien tien picks up the supplies at the warehouse she doesn't deliver the supplies look the idea of opposition here or contradiction or contrast so here look what is going to happen tian picks up the supplies at the warehouse and when you use but you always have to use a comma before but tian picks up the supplies at the warehouse comma but Let me, I'm going to put the whole sentence. She doesn't deliver the supplies. I could put, but she doesn't deliver them, but I'm just going to follow what's in the screen, okay? Good. Let's continue here. Number four. Rieko met her new co-workers this morning. She didn't meet any patients. Again, there is an idea of contrast. She met, but she didn't met, meet. So, look here. Rieko met her new co-workers this morning. Every time you use but, you add a comma before. Comma, but she didn't meet any patients okay good questions okay okay let's continue here number five at the restaurant mustafa made the soup he also made the salad and the clue here is also because also means um, repetition continuation of something so you kind of have an idea that it's and okay at the restaurant Mustafa made the soup and the salad okay uh, um, questions no okay okay let's continue here and number six sometimes anatoly drinks coffee 
sometimes he drinks tea and this is kind of you know sometimes sometimes yeah I understand it's one or the other Anatoly drinks coffee or tea okay so let's check our answers Yeah, I kind of, it's wrong, but because I wrote something that the software does not have, the sentence is not wrong, in a sense, but let me see what she did it, what, I, how can I can get to this, clear wrong, yeah, okay, uh, But let me see if I take out the, the sheet that doesn't deliver. Let me see. So let me. Yeah, it's still clear wrong now. But she doesn't. doesn't deliver them yeah see it, wa it wanted not me to put the supplies but to put them okay um questions okie dokie I hope you had enjoyed this first part of the class uh, don't forget to you know to stretch yourself a little bit and try to uh, and try to really do the exercise first before coming to the video so every time we have practice I do encourage you to practice before coming and watch the and to watch the video and and use the video not just to fill out the empty spaces in your book but just as a review as a and as a refresher just to think through what you did and 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 look back at the things that you did wrong and get this opportunity to review the material okay because it's it's very different and when you do an ex when you do a, an online class uh, this is really uh, different than an in class uh, program okay when you have the teacher there with you to check on you so you don't have that so you have to engage more you have to be proactive you have to take charge of your own learning process you have to take ownership of of your progress of your journey in in, in learning okay whether it's English or cooking or anything okay online is a different experience uh, and there are so many factors that can just sidetrack you from your learning process okay but anyways uh, this was this were just some of my thoughts but anyways, uh, let's take a break and we come back for the next part of our class. Okay, guys, I'll see you in a bit. Bye-bye.